did we, we have mentioned this before but once again at the end of the competition could you ever have thought that you were going to be the, the top place British rider and, and looking back it's probably a little bit too close now but what is your best memory of, of this particular Babington Horse Trials? Oh, um, best memory um, is probably my very first time here with Justice Quest completing and winning the under 25 prize. Um, but to come back with this horse who I've had such a journey with, um, managing to keep the ride when he was going to be sold away from me, um, and then going on to be fifth at Burley, ninth at the European Championships, and then third at Badminton, it's just a total dream, dream come true. It's, it's just amazing. And, and as I say, was it ever in your plans that you were going to be the top place British rider, let alone coming in at third place? Um, listen, the horse has been on the form of his life this year. Um, he was second in his first event of the year and then he won his advanced event, uh, double clears, and I, I knew he was on good form. It was just a case of coming here and being as competitive as we possibly could and competing to the top of our game, which I think we've done all week. And, the horse did a personal best in the dressage and he's finished on this dressage score. I could not be more proud of him. Oh, well done. Any questions for Gemma? Yes, over there for me, please. Oh, congratulations, Gemma. Gemma, you've also won the prize for the best free trained race horse. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means the world to me. You know, what a fabulous horse. He was still racing over fences when he was six years old. So it's a testament to his you know, amazing ability and his train ability to, to come and be third at Babington. It's just amazing. Any more questions? Yes, if we, if we could go to Jenny first and the gentleman behind her. Um, when you rode into the show jumping, you were asking the crowd to be quiet. Were you worried about the crowd before you went in? Yeah, Arctic Soul doesn't like loud noises. He, he's really scared of clapping. It makes him very nervous. Uh, and when he's nervous, that's when he can make mistakes. So I really wanted the crowd to be as quiet as possible before I went in so that I could keep his attention on me and, and trusting me that he's, he's going to be okay and that he can still do his job. Because he always wants to jump and clear around. He's not a careless horse, but when he's distracted by noise, that's when he can make a mistake. But the crowd were amazing and they stayed quiet and I managed to keep his concentration and, and he jumped the best round of his life. Cut. Yes. Hi Gemma, well done on today. Sorry to move things forward so quickly, but um, come you know June now everyone's going to start looking ahead to, to Rio and stuff. So I wonder what your views were on it and you know how excited you'd be to, to go ahead to, to South America. Listen, going to Rio is beyond my dreams. Um, it's something that I've been aiming for for the, certainly the last few years and prepping this horse and also I have two other horses, uh, Quick Look and Chico Bella, that are also fabulous. Uh, three star horses. Um, all three of them would be capable of going to Rio and it's my it's my absolute dream to get there and I'm just going to keep working really hard and try and keep my horses in one piece and if it pulls off, it pulls off and if not, well then I have to go to the next one. <laughs> well I think all of us really do hope and keep our fingers crossed that you are going to make it. Best of luck with that. I think I'm going to move on if I may.